Hello again, my name is Mike Farrell with Polk's Authority and the Casper Star Tribune, and this is the Polk's Authority Vidcast brought to you by Wyo Central Federal Credit Union. Uh, Wyoming this week goes into a game at Fresno State, coming off the four straight losses, trying to turn that around as a very battered team as far as injuries, especially on the defensive end. We've got a bunch of new starters this week. At strong side linebacker, you've got a junior, Jeff Lark, who's going to make his first career start. Uh, a quarterback, Robert Priester, a freshman, is going to start once again. Uh, he's played a lot this season, but this is only going to be his second start of the season. Uh, Sonny Pulatasi, senior defensive end, and another senior, uh, Jesse Sampson, the safety. Craig Bull said today that you can pretty much flip a coin to see if either one of them is going to play. Very questionable at this point. That's totally up in the air. So it's going to be a lot of moving parts, trying to make it work with a, an inexperienced defense. Uh, on the other side, uh, offensively, uh, running back Brian Hill is going to make the first start of his career against Fresno State after Sean Wick broke his hand last week in the CSU game. Of course, Hill ran very well against Colorado State and had 28 carries for more than 100 yards and two touchdowns. I talked to uh, Brian Hill about the challenge of starting his first game. Here is that interview. All right, I'm here with uh, freshman running back Brian Hill. Brian, obviously, going to be taking a lot of the load going forward the next couple weeks and this week against Fresno State. Just what's your kind of your mentality, I guess, knowing that your role is going to be a little bit bigger going into this game? Um, it's basically the same mentality. Even though I was the third back, Coach Bath still gave me one third of the reps in practice, and he told me he's going to do the same this week. So I just have to focus on practicing hard and finishing, and just knowing in the back of my mind that this week, instead of like coming in and giving someone a breather, I'm going to be starting the game off and like set the tempo. Yeah, with Colorado State going into the border war and that atmosphere and having 28 carries and everything, were there were there nerves at any point in that game, or was it just, you know what, this is my time and just kind of take it? Um, at some points in the game, I was so tired, I couldn't hear the crowd. I was just thinking about my assignment, and that was what uh, got me through that. So, like, I've been in louder situations, obviously, with Oregon and Michigan State. And yeah. It was, it was, wasn't that much off, but it was a good crowd. Well, that's, you know, that's the word Eddie up thing again, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, you know, going forward next couple of weeks, I mean, how, like you said, you've been preparing the same as Sean and DJ. How ready do you feel just with all the plays and all the preparation and everything just to kind of step in against Fresno and after that? Mentally, I feel like I'm very prepared. Like, I know all the plays. I know what I'm supposed to do. And, like, it's just going in with that confidence that I can do it at this level. That's the biggest thing right now. How much do you think you guys can build off of, you know, you score four straight touchdowns at the end of that last game. It seems like you kind of started to roll a little bit. How much do you think you kind of build off of that going into these next games? Um, I think mainly that showed us that if we don't shoot ourselves in the foot, we can move the ball, period. So the biggest focus today and all through the week will probably be do your job, know your assignment, and execute better. Sounds good. Thanks, Brian. Now, if you're looking for a bright spot in Wyoming's loss to CSU last weekend, it would certainly be Wyoming's offense, which scored uh, touchdowns on its final four drives of the game in that 45-31 to 31 defeat. Uh, you look at Colby Kirkgaard, a guy who passed for 335 yards, a career high, and passed for two touchdowns in the final two drives, both more than 30-yard passes. He has shown the ability to throw the deep ball very accurately this year, and against Fresno State this weekend, they're going to have some opportunities. Fresno State is uh, not a great defense in either run defense or pass defense in either one of those er areas. Wyoming should have some success moving the ball against the Bulldogs. It'll be an interesting game. could be high scoring again. We'll see what happens when Wyoming meets Fresno State on Saturday. Until next time, my name is Mike Farrell. Take care.